Hey everyone, Hassan here. How's it going? Uh, it is Sunday and the week is about to begin, another week of school and work and everything, and I thought it would be fun to do another video. Now, I know the last time I did a Q&A, um, I had a lot of fun with it, but I was all up and jumping around and I had all this energy. Today, whew, I am tired. Um, yeah, I mean, I've just been, it's just been busy. Like, you know, yesterday I was cutting the grass and everything, just doing yard work and school work, everything going on. And then today I um, just got some mulch from Home Depot. So I know even after this in a little while, I'm going to go back outside and do some more yard work and everything. So I just, I, I know I mentioned in my last vlog that I like keeping busy, and I do. But even though if you keep busy, you still got to have, you know, those breaks. You still got to have those days off. And so far, I haven't gotten a full day off. Uh, a few hours here and there, that kind of thing, but... Not a full day, so we'll see how that goes in the rest of the summer. But I'll try and, you know, still keep my energy up and everything, because these are fun. I like doing these, and um, so I got a bunch of questions. So I've compiled them on my iPad here, so I'm just going to go down the list. So I got questions from YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter, so let's get right to it. Uh, first question from YouTube from Hassan Tuema on YouTube says, Hey man, I'm new to your channel. What state you live in? Uh, well, Hassan... First of all, a nice name. Uh, spelled a little differently, one S instead of two for me. Um, what state do I live in? Why? Why do you want to know, huh? 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 Um, no, for real though, um, I live in Virginia. Um, I'm not going to give you my address or anything, but Virginia. I've lived here my whole life, and um, yeah, that's it. Uh, also on YouTube, the writer Aries asked, um, well, they asked me about my Facebook account. They asked if, if I'm on Facebook. I am. However... I keep Facebook private for, like, my friends and family and stuff. Um, so, I mean, you'll if you do search for me, I'm on there. It's facebook.com slash um, hassanamma 120 Same thing as Twitter, but I'm not going to add you unless I know you. So don't even bother because I'm just not. Um, so if you do want to follow me, though, I mean, obviously, YouTube right now, you can subscribe. Um, but Twitter, twitter.com slash hassanamma 120 So follow me on Twitter. And uh, I'm also on Instagram, but that's also private as well. Um, so really the only thing that I use is, is Twitter. Um, so yeah, Hassan Amit120, follow me. Um, on Facebook, uh, one of my coworkers, Allison, um, so she, she asked a question about, uh, I, I got to give a little bit of background here. Um, so I work at a doctor's office, right? And I work on the electronic medical record system that we have. Um, so I've been there for five years now. And the the company that we have the program from, I'm not going to name them, um, but we are basically thinking of switching uh, EMRs or electronic medical records. So we're looking at different EMR systems potentially switching. I think we're going to make a decision soon in the next few months, and by the end of the year, I think we're going to we're going to try and switch. Um, so my coworker is asking, why are we still with this company? So he's like, uh, so slow, so many errors, so improficient. Help, Hassan. And she told me to vlog and tag that company. Um, so I don't want to, like, lose my job or anything. I don't want to get in trouble. So I'm not going to tag the company or name them. But if you work with me, you know which company I'm talking about. Um, and, yeah, you know, it's it has been kind of a pain. And uh, some of their stuff is kind of outdated. And, um, yeah, there are, there are better systems out there. So we're looking at other, other systems. And I think we're pretty much definitely probably going to switch. Um, so... I, I can give you more details about which systems we're looking at and what we might switch to at work or something, but um, yeah, don't worry. Uh, that'll be a, that'll be a big project later this year. You know, whenever we you know we decide to switch, whenever we switch, like trying to create all the different templates that that people use and just adapting our workflows to this new EMR. That's going to be a pretty big project. So um, I'm already going to be really busy in the fall with school and work and um, with this big project coming up at work. It's just going to be really crazy, but um, I'm excited. It'll be, I think it'll be good for the company, and it'll be also a good experience for me just because that's kind of the stuff that I want to do. I want to do something in the health IT area. Um, so being able to work with a whole new system, I've worked with this one for five years now. I think I've kind of gotten the hang of it. Um, in fact, some people from this company came to visit our office, and the different templates and stuff that I created, they said I was doing stuff more advanced than the documentation they had, so they really had no help for me. So, and I just kind of picked it up just from playing around with it. So it's, uh, I'm kind of like, I need something new, you know, I want to try something else out. So, uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, let's see. Another coworker on Facebook, Missy, <laughs> she said, uh, so where's the future girlfriend? 
Um, well, to all the ladies out there, I am single. Um, now just playing around. Uh, mom, dad, if you watch this, I'm just joking. Calm down, all right? <laughs> um, no, I mean, look, right now, I mean, if we're talking, like, future, future, I mean, eventually I do, you know, want to have a wife, get some kids, settle down and stuff. I want to have a family, but that's, that's future, future, you know? Right now, school, work, that's what I'm working on. That's what's keeping me busy. Um, so that's, that's all I got to say there. Um... Mr. At Mr. Change Dragon on Twitter said, oh, he got really serious with this one. You know, I, I put out a little thing. I was like, send me questions, send me whatever. Um, and so he got really serious. He's like, do you think that pesticides will play a part in global warming? Hmm. Uh, you know, I, uh, I don't even know. I had to, like, look this up, and I was trying to, like, find, like, points to support different, you know, sides to this and everything. And... I don't know. I mean, I found, I was looking at um, Yahoo Answers, and there was a guy named Robert. I think he had a, um, uh, he had a good point, actually. So I wanted to mention what his point was. And so this is word for word for Yahoo Answers. You can find this by a guy named Robert. Um, so in terms of pesticides and global warming, he's like, the unicorns are allergic to it. It makes their pink fur fall out. So, I mean, that's a good point. The unicorns, if they're allergic to pesticides, I mean, you got to look out for the unicorns, right? Seriously. Um, Allison, uh, again on Facebook, asked another question. She said, how do I find a robo hamster on the loose in my house? Uh, robo hamster, let's see. Well, if it's one of those things that makes sounds, you could probably wait, like if you can hear it or something, you could probably wait until the battery starts to die out, and instead of it making sounds, it sounds like it's going to die. Like, you know, when electronics, if the battery's low and they're about to die, like you can hear them, and it's kind of weird looking, like a... I had a Furby once, and the battery was dying on the thing, and it was like, instead of going, rah, rah, it was going like, I, I can't even make the sound, I was like, rah, like it was like dying, and it was just creepy. So, if this is a thing that makes sounds, you could listen for the dying hamster sound, or whatever it sounds like. Um, if not, Robo Hamster, I don't know, what do they eat? Put out Robo Food or something, I, I don't know. Um... Uh, at Mr. Change Dragon asked on Twitter, uh, how about this one, Pepsi or Coke? Um, I did answer this in my last vlog, and I said that it kind of depends on my mood, and I think, I can't remember, I think the last time I said Pepsi, um, but right now I would actually say Coke, so, um, Coke, I guess, for right now. Um, then Tara, another one of my coworkers, um, she asked this on Facebook the last time I did a video, but she asked it a little bit too late, I had already recorded the video, but I wanted to get to it this time. She said, what was the best thing that ever happened to you? Details, please. The best thing that has ever happened to me. That, um, that's a tough one. Like, I, you know, there's, there's a bunch of good experiences. What's the best thing that's ever happened to me? Um, you know, I, I feel like the best things that happened to me are the things that I really learned from or the things that kind of have shown my achievements in a way. Like, it kind of, I can look back and, and I'm kind of proud of myself, you know? Um, so I'll give a couple of examples. Um, at my old college, I was a part of this organization called the Intercultural Festival. It was the largest student-run student run event done on campus. It was about a dozen students that put together this big event, uh, an annual event, um, where thousands of students and people from around the community would come, and they had performances um, and um, food vendors, a petting zoo, they had student organizations, had tables set up, carnival rides, um, all showcasing different cultural, you know, backgrounds. Um, so that was actually really cool, and it was just a whole year-round thing that we did, um, and just seeing that done at the end of the year was always a big moment, you know, it was always like the culmination of everything you work for all year, and it was just really cool seeing all these people of different cultures a part of it. Um, so I started out just kind of as a volunteer, eventually was marketing co-chair, then programming co-chair, and then my last year there I was um, assistant director. Um, so just kind of being a part of that organization. I learned a lot from that, from just from the different stuff I had to do, from the people that I worked with. Um, there's a lot that I learned from them, um, and it was just a, an amazing experience. Um, and just other notable mentions, you know, my time at work at the doctor's office. Um, just I've learned so much and met really cool people through that experience. 
Um, and, and some of the things that have happened because of it, like I was in uh, a local newspaper in their top 30 under 30 feature because of the work I've done with, with EMR, so the electronic medical records. And so that's something that I can kind of look back on and say, yeah, this is when I really felt proud, like now I know what I want to do, what career path I want to go on, and this is what I have to show for it. And um, so just moments like that where I've really learned from the experiences and, and that kind of thing. Um, yeah, good question, Tara. Um, now, shifting gears, the last few questions are kind of Power Rangers related. I do have a bunch of Power Rangers fans that are on Twitter and stuff um, because I do Power Rangers reviews on, on YouTube for the toys and everything. Um, so, John from Israel, at John from Israel on Twitter, says, how many Power Rangers action figures do you have? Um, you know, I don't have like an exact count or something, but I have like three or four big bins full of stuff. Um, so I have a bunch. I've done videos showing... I did a three-part video thing showing all of my Power Ranger toys up through, like, Samurai or something. So then I, I have a bunch of Samurai, Super Samurai stuff. I have a bunch of Mega Force stuff from the past few years. Um, so I have quite a bit. Um, so you can kind of see, you know, the, my toy collection videos if you want to see that. And then the recent stuff, I've done, like, separate video reviews for everything. Um, yeah, and uh, kind of along that note... One of the questions that I tend to get a lot on YouTube, either in the comments or people will message me, they're like, so how much are you selling this thing for? Or, you know, what do you want for this? I'm not selling my stuff. You know, I say that in the video, too. I show, I did a video showing my collection. I'm like, sorry, guys, I'm not selling it. People still ask me. Um, so that's a question I get a lot, and here's my answer. I'm not selling it. Um, at least not right now. Who knows? Years down the road. But Power Rangers is still going strong. It's still continuing, and... I'm going to be keeping this stuff for a while, at least. So um, don't ask, because I'm not going to answer, because the answer is I'm not selling it. Uh, if I am selling it in the future, then the first way that I'll probably tell people is Twitter. Um, so follow me, twitter.com slash the 120 um, Xbox Gamer J16 on YouTube says, he's like, I'm, oh, so this is kind of funny. So I, my last vlog, I was kind of saying, I'm keeping busy. Things are good. I'm enjoying life. So he's like, I'm glad you're doing good in life, but how surprised were you when the Series 3 Power Ranger cards started having pre-Zero Ranger Sentai? Um, so it's kind of like, I'm glad you're doing good, but what do you think about this? It's just kind of funny. Um, but, uh, so a little history for those, because, you know, a lot of people that watch these vlogs, my coworkers and stuff, don't really know much about Power Rangers and everything. Power Rangers is based on a Japanese show called Super Sentai, and um, what happens is the Japanese season airs, right? And then in the next few years, we'll take one of those seasons and we'll take the Japanese footage. So we'll take all the suits, the Zords, the, all that stuff, but we'll strip out all the footage of Japanese actors. And instead, we'll hire, uh, I don't want to say American actors, but English-speaking actors, because sometimes they've gotten some people from New Zealand and stuff before. Um, so English-speaking actors, and they edit that footage with the Japanese footage of them in the suits, so that way it kind of fits. Um... So that's kind of what they've been doing. So everybody knows, you know, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the original. Um, what most people don't know is Mighty Morphin Power Rangers... So Power Rangers is based off of Super Sentai, right? Super Sentai had been going on for 15 years before Mighty Morphin Power Rangers started. The 16th season of Super Sentai, called Zero Ranger, is the footage they used for Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. So those 15 seasons before that, we didn't get in Power Rangers. Um... So a lot of people, they call, they're called like the pre-ZU Rangers or the pre-ZU suits because that's pre-ZU Ranger, which is what we got from Mighty Morphin. Um, so they have these Power Rangers cards that they're releasing, and some of the recent cards actually have in the background some of those Power Rangers that are pre-ZU Ranger. So these are ones that we never got on Power Rangers. Um, so I think it's the first time ever they have Super Sentai Power Rangers on, you know, American merchandise, so that's kind of a big deal. In 20 years, the Power Rangers have been on, they've never done that. Um, so I was really surprised. Um, I think it's cool. They said they're doing it just for the fans, for the collectors, the people who know you know, who those are. They're not going to be on the show or anything, but it's just a fun little thing. So I think that's kind of cool. Um, and then uh, at Kev778 says, are you going to audition for the Go Busters ad adaptation? So uh, the Japanese season... Um, so next year is Power Rangers Super Mega Force, and then after that, they're probably going to be adapting the Japanese season called Go Busters. Um, so he's asking if I'm going to audition. I would love to, but no. Um, <laughs> and uh, I've never acted in anything before. Um, 
and uh, yeah, that's I just I'm not. Um, that would be amazing if I was on the show somehow by some miracle, but it's just it's not going to happen, you know, realistically speaking. Um, so no, I'm not. Um, but uh, yeah, so that is the Q and A. So those are all the questions that I got, and um, thank you all for submitting the questions. Um, that was fun, and uh, you know maybe sometime down the road I'll do another Q and A or something. We'll see. Um, but in the meantime, you know, I have a bunch of ideas for other vlogs and stuff, so try and record some things and put some stuff up, and hopefully people find it interesting. So thank you to everybody that's been watching, and um, have a great day. See you guys later.